praise the Lord. Thank you so much. What a, what a Wednesday, what a day the Lord has given unto us to just gather together so we can get an opportunity to fellowship with His Word. The Bible says, man shall not live by bread alone, but by every word that proceeds from the mouth of the Lord. So today we have an opportunity to receive something that will build our lives. Praise the Lord. I want you to invite a friend. Just send a message or call them to gather around where you are right now so that we can be able to participate in this broadcast together. My name is Pastor Joshua. I love you so much and welcome to this broadcast. I want us to just begin by praying, thanking God for the things that he has done in your life as an individual, for life, for safety, for security, for protection. Just take some time and thank God in the name of Jesus. Father, we thank you. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We give you praise. Yes, we thank you, Lord. We give you praise. We give you glory. Thank you for life. Thank you for salvation. Thank you, Lord, for, for, for redemption. Thank you for our lives. Malados Kadiba Shaka Rabazandi. Rima Zekete Debo Shakata Barabazanda. Rima Saka Raba Shakata Barabazanta Laba. Rima Zekete Buraba Shaka Rabazanta Labarakata Laba. Rima Shekete Deba. Rima Zekete Buraba Shanta Labarakata Laba. Rima Zekete Buraba Shanda. Rima Zekere Bo Shekete Deba. Rima Saka Raba Shanta Laba. Oh, we thank you. We bless your name. We give you glory. We give you honor. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for divine protection. Thank you for health. Thank you, Lord, for life. Thank you. Thank you for the gift of family. Thank you for the gift of friends. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. We thank you, Lord. We thank you today. We give you praise. We give you glory. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. In the same mood of prayer. I just want us to take a, a, a prayer item here. We have been praying for our country. We have been praying for, for the globe. We have been praying for the nations of the world. And you know, God is so faithful. He answers prayer. Praise the Lord. So I want us to take some time and just thank him for the prayers that he has answered. I know you have prayed for something. We have prayed for, 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 for healing. We have prayed for, you know, for safety. We have prayed for a lot of things in life. I want you to take some time and just thank God. Hallelujah. In the name of Jesus. Appreciate God. Appreciate God for his grace. Appreciate him for his blessing. Appreciate him for his evident life at work in you. Appreciate him for answered prayer. Appreciate him for victories in the name of Jesus. Victories over life circumstances and situations in the name of Jesus. Oh, we thank you, Lord. We are so grateful. We are so grateful tonight. Thank you, my Father, for the for, 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 for life. Thank you for providence. Thank you, my God. We thank you. We thank you. We thank you. Thank you, we thank you, we thank you. Le Karabashata Karabazanta. The Bible says, Give thanks to the Lord for His good, His mercies endure forever. We thank you, Lord. We thank you for answered prayers. We thank you for answered prayers. Thank you, Lord. Thank you for provision. Thank you for victory over life's circumstances and situations. We thank you. We give you praise, my God. We give you glory. We give you honor. We magnify your name. Thank you, my Father. Oh, we bless you, Lord. We bless you, Lord. We magnify your name. We give you glory in the name of Jesus. Praise the Lord. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. Hallelujah. What an opportunity. You know, when God gives you an opportunity to just come into his presence with thanksgiving, do it. Do it. Do it. 
is a blessing, praise the Lord. And it unlocks doors in your life, doors and windows of blessings for your life, praise the Lord. I want us to take the devotional. I want us to take the devotional every day with Jesus. Every day with Jesus. With Pastor Joshua, the Oasis of Hope. Uh, the subject today, a channel of his blessing. Praise the Lord. A channel of his blessing. Genesis chapter 12 and verses 2. In the King James Version it says, And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. And I will make of thee a great nation, and I will bless thee, and make thy name great, and thou shalt be a blessing. God loves to bless people. He loves to bless people. It is his nature. The Bible says, The eyes of the Lord run to and fro upon the earth to show himself strong on behalf of them whose hearts are perfect toward him. 2 Chronicles 16 verse 9. In other words, he's constantly looking out to bless, to empower, and to give opportunity to someone. That's what God is doing. He's looking, he's looking out to bless, to empower, and to give opportunity to someone. In order to do this, he needs someone in the earth to use. Praise the Lord. That's why he trains us by teaching us to give, to be caring and concerned about the needs of others. When you realize that whatever is in your church is not yours, but God's, it becomes easy for you to give. Abraham was a blessed man. He was prosperous in all things. For God blessed him abundantly. The Bible tells us that by associating with him, his nephew Lot also became very prosperous. Praise the Lord. That's the way it ought to be. You are the symbol of God's blessing. Therefore, those around you ought to experience prosperity because of you. They ought to experience progress because they have associated with you. They ought to experience success because of you. Praise the Lord. Understanding that God loves to bless others through you, you are not the one trying to get blessed. For he's already blessed you. Ephesians 1 3 says, Ephesians 1 3, sorry, and has made you a blessing. He has blessed you and made you a blessing. 1 Peter 3 9. So not only are you blessed, your life is overflowing with blessings. Glory to God. God has made you the channel of distribution of His blessing to the world. Glory to God. Therefore, never hold back. When you tell, when you, when, when he tells you to give, never hold back when he tells you to give. God's unusual blessings are reserved for givers. Glory, hallelujah. Therefore, always be quick to release. Always be prompt to give. For it is more blessed to give than to receive. Hallelujah. Let's take the confession together. Say this after me. Say, dear Father, I thank you for blessing me with every spiritual blessing in heavenly places. In Christ Jesus, 
You made me the symbol of your blessing to my world. Therefore, I ask that you lead me to recognize those you've ordained to bless through me, that they may experience your love and goodness in Jesus' name. Amen. I want to take a moment and just pray in tongues in the name of Jesus. Rama shekete bo raba zanta kade ba rose kade ba shanta rika raba ba 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 zekete bo raba shanta karaba zanta. Thank you because you have made me a blessing, a channel of blessing to other people. In the name of Jesus, open my eyes to see those you have ordained to bless through my life. In the name of Jesus, I am a channel of blessing. Through me, many are lifted. Through me, many are blessed. Through me, many are encouraged. Many are built. Many are strengthened. In the name of Jesus. In the name of Jesus. Rama shekete bo raba zakata baraba zande. Rikata baraba shekete de deba. Rama sole pralos kadiba shanta kadeba ros kadiba shada. Hallelujah, hallelujah. Oh, we give you praise, my Father. We thank you, we thank you, we thank you. We bless you, Lord. We give you glory. In Jesus' name we pray. Amen, 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 amen. Praise the Lord. Hallelujah. What a blessing. What an honor. What a privilege just to gather in the house of God. To gather together. To sit together that we may hear from the Lord. I want to take the opportunity to just go straight to the word of God. Hallelujah. And um, I'm going to share something that is, that is so wonderful. Uh, as I meditated uh, on this yesterday and through today, I, I felt led of the Spirit to just come and we share it together. Praise the Lord. The Bible is an interesting book. It is full of answers for those that would care to search, praise the Lord. Search the scriptures. Train yourself to search the scriptures. At one point in Jesus' ministry, Jesus met Nicodemus. And Nicodemus needed salvation. And Jesus gave him the way unto salvation. But according to Nicodemus, he felt that was not the way. And Jesus said something to him. He said to him, you err because you know not the scriptures. You err because you know not the scriptures. Once you know the scriptures, you will not err in life. Once you know the scriptures, you will know how to conduct the affairs of your life. You know how to conduct the affairs of your business, the affairs of your family, the affairs of your, your, of, 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 of your of relations at your workplace. You know how to conduct yourself. Sometimes you really don't need to be taught how to walk in life. All you need to do is to go to the scriptures, search the scriptures. As you search the scriptures, your eyes, the eyes of your understanding will be enlightened to understand how God requires, what God requires of you, and how God requires that you conduct yourself. Praise the Lord. So today I want to look at a subject that I've been, you know, thinking with regards to what happens when we pray in tongues. It's a question someone asked me. Pastor, what happens when we pray in tongues? Now, there's a lot that happens when we pray in tongues. But I want to dwell on one aspect of the much that happens when we pray in tongues. When we pray in tongues, we build ourselves. Praise the Lord. We build ourselves. When you look at the book of 1 Corinthians chapter 14 and verse 4, it uses a word that is very interesting. 
when you study Jude, Jude tells you, you build yourself. Let me read Jude first before I come to 1 Corinthians. Jude says, but ye beloved, build up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. Building yourself, building up yourselves on your most holy faith, praying in the Holy Ghost. That's Jude. Jude uses the word build. The Apostle Paul uses another word that I'm interested in. He says in 1 Corinthians 14 verse 4, He that speaketh in an unknown tongue edifies himself. Praise the Lord. They edify themselves. But he that prophesies edifies the church. Now to prophesy here is not to foretell. It's not to foretell, sorry. To tell of the events of the future. No. The prophesying here is the speaking of God's word to the public. The declarations of the word of God. The public proclamation of the word of God. You remember the Apostle Paul tells his son Timothy, he says, do not stop to publicly read scripture. Do not stop the public reading of scriptures. Today we have been told to lock ourselves inside. To lock ourselves inside. We should not gather in the church. Now, those people that are advising that, what they don't know is that they are being used of that devil to stop the public reading of scripture. And that's dangerous. It's dangerous. And that's the reason why it is important for us to pray for the leadership of every country, to pray for them so that they make right decisions. They give right policies for the guidance of the people of God. Never, when you see things happening, don't look at those things in the first value. Don't look at those things in the first value. There's more than meets the eye. And you've got to understand the force behind what is happening. When you understand the force behind what is happening, you will pray rightly. You will pray rightly. So we must pray for the leaders. Praise the Lord. So, so Paul says, when we speak in an unknown tongue, we edify ourselves. Praise the Lord. <clears throat> we edify ourselves. The word edify comes from a Greek word, oikodomeo. 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 Which means to confirm. <laughs> Praise the Lord. It also means to embolden. So the synonym of the word confirm is embolden. 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 Praise the Lord. Now, to embolden, when you look are the meaning in the English dictionary. The meaning in the English dictionary means, to embolden means, to fill oneself with courage or strength of purpose. So to fill oneself with courage or strength of purpose. Stop there and think for a minute. If when we pray in church, we fill ourselves with courage, does it mean this is the reason the Pharisees and teachers of the law and the leaders of the day of Jesus wondered every time and ask the question, where does this man get the courage to speak to us so boldly like this? Does that explain the, the answer? Because they wondered why Jesus was so bold. He was so courageous. He spoke to them boldly. He, he was not afraid. Even when he knew 
that they were going to crucify him. When they asked the questions, Jesus was not afraid to answer accordingly. And they became enraged the more. Praise the Lord. When he was still young, he had gone to, to Jerusalem with his parents. And the Bible says he was gathered amongst the teachers. And he began to reason with them. He began to reason with them with regards to the scriptures. Ah, still a young boy. And the Bible says, and the leaders and the teachers of the law wondered why Jesus was so bold. Why Jesus was so bold. Look at the lives of the apostles. In the book of Acts chapter 4 and from verse 30, the Bible says they were threatened. They were threatened because of persecution, because of what was happening in the streets. They were being arrested. They were being hoarded together in cells because of the gospel. And the Bible says, and they were gathered unto themselves in the house and they prayed. And the place where they were was shaken, was shaken by the power of the Holy Ghost. And the Bible says, and they spoke the word of God boldly. Hallelujah. They spoke the word of God boldly. From that moment, they were no longer holding in their houses. They knew they were being hunted down, but they never stopped. They boldly went out to proclaim the gospel. They boldly went out to preach the good news. Until one day, one of the people that was heading the persecution, oh, in Acts chapter 9, Paul, then Saul, became a disciple also. Praise the Lord. When you know what happens to you, when you do something, you always are encouraged to do it the more. Praise the Lord. In the day and age that we live in today, there's so much that is happening in the streets. There's so much that is happening in the streets. If you went out, for instance, without a mask, you are afraid you would be arrested. Or if you were late a little because there was some order of time, you will be afraid that you will be arrested. If you gathered in the house of God for worship, you will be afraid that you will be arrested. Wait a minute. There are things we cannot discuss, we can't keep talking about. And those things we are praying today for the specialists across the world, across the globe. For the scientists to come out and speak boldly but some of the scientists are born again if they spoke in tongues they will be emboldened in their spirits they will be filled with courage they will be filled with strength of purpose so they will come out boldly to speak about COVID-19 boldly to declare the, the truth from the lies because nobody has monopoly of science. Praise the Lord. Nobody has monopoly of science. Nobody has monopoly of science. So it's important for us to understand that when we pray, we get strength, we become bold. We are emboldened to speak truth, to declare truth. And it's only the truth that will set the people free. So when we pray in tongues, we are strengthened. We are emboldened. We are filled with courage. We are filled with strength of purpose. If you have a mission, if you have an idea, if you have some, something that you need to achieve, the best way to continually be refreshed in your purpose, in your agenda, is to speak in tongues. Is to speak in tongues. Where do we have churches begin today? They are on fire. A few years down the line, they are as cold as nothing else. It's because the saints in that congregation, the church leadership in that congregation, have not or they have negated this important factor. They have negated this important factor. 
If you don't speak in tongues, chances for you to be afraid will come. Opportunities for you to be afraid will come. And there will be nothing within your spirits to embolden you, so you will be afraid. You will fear. Your faith will falter. Praise the Lord. And when fear comes in, the devil will rush in like a flood and he will vanquish you. He will finish you. Praise the Lord. He will finish you. Why? Because there is nothing within you. There is nothing within you. Let's continue. Praise the Lord. So when we pray in tongues, we fill our hearts with courage. We fill our hearts with courage. There are musicians that sang a song and they say, let courage, let courage rise with danger. The only way today to allow courage to rise in the midst of a pandemic, in the midst of trouble, in the midst of turmoil, is to speak in tongues. Praise the Lord. Is to speak in tongues. Is to speak in tongues. The second meaning, the second word that is used, praise the Lord. The second word that is used is the word confirm. The word confirm. This word means to establish the truth accuracy and validity or genuineness of something to establish the truth validity genuineness accuracy of something friends when we pray in tongues, we establish truth. Now we need to understand what is truth. What is truth? There is nothing in the world outside the word of God that is truth. There is absolutely nothing in the world we live in today outside the word of God that is truth. Let me give you an example. In a reflection of a particular light, the color of my jacket is blue. In the reflection of another light, dependent on the light, it will reflect a different color. So you cannot say for a fact when you see something, that's the original color. Dependent on the light that shows, and light here is information. So dependent on the light that is shown on something, the reflection of that thing is different. It can be totally different. In the light of COVID-19, every Kenyan, every human being in the world went into hiding. They went into their homes. Now, in the light of another information, they will come out in the streets. In the streets. Will that, will that mean that completely COVID-19 is no longer existent? That's not the case. Maybe they have found something to deal with it. So being inside a house cannot be told, cannot be used to be explained and told that is the truth behind protection of infection. Are we still together? So, truth in the world, the world deals with facts, not truth. Facts change. Truth does not change. Truth is constant. Praise the Lord. Truth is constant. The only constant thing that we know is the word of God. The Bible says that everything will pass away, but not even a dot of God's word will pass away. So it is the only thing that changes not 
So it's truth. When we speak in tongues, praise the Lord, when we speak in tongues, we, we establish God's word in our lives. When you study 1 Corinthians chapter 2, and from verse 13 going up, it talks about when we pray in tongues, we are confirming what God has said about our lives. I'm paraphrasing it. We are confirming what God has said about our lives. Those things that are in secret, we are boldly proclaiming. We are, we are giving them personality to exist on earth. Because whatever you have not spoken cannot exist. Look at Genesis chapter 1. Everything that is was created by a spoken word. So when we speak, when we open our mouth to utter words, we give personality to the things we have spoken. We give personality to the things we have spoken. So we give them a license, legality, room, freedom to exist in the physical world. Before it is spoken, it is illegal on earth. Because it will live in the form of a spirit. And spirits are not illegal on earth. They, they, can't, they can't just roam around. They have to have a body in order for them to exist on earth. And that's why Jesus had to take, that's why the Son of God had to take the form of a body in order to save the world. So truth is the word of God. So when we speak in terms, we release these spiritual words. We release words from the spirit realm. We give them personality to exist on earth. Hebrews 11 verse 3 says that by faith we understand that the worlds were framed, the ions were framed by the word of God. So that things that appear were not made of things that do appear, but things that do not appear. What are these things that do not appear? The word of God. Praise the Lord. The word of God. So the world was framed by the word of God. The word of God is truth. So when we speak in terms, we establish the word of God in our lives. Glory, hallelujah. We establish the word of God in our lives. If the word of God has said that you are safe, when you speak in tongues, you establish it in your life. You establish security and safety in your life. The word of God has said that you are whole, you are healthy. When you speak in tongues, when you go and find the scripture, and you read that scripture, and then you, vow, you, you begin to speak in tongues over that scripture, you confirm, you establish that scripture concerning health and wholeness in your life. So health and wholeness has no option but to become a reality in your life. Truth is that which we relate with. Praise the Lord. Truth is that which we relate with. This is a higher level of relationship. So when we, when, when we have become health and wholeness, then we have become truth. Praise the Lord. We are relating with what the word of God has said. We have become one with what the word of God has said concerning our lives. When we speak in tongues, we do more than make noise as people say. Praise the Lord. We do more. We do more. The scripture that I gave you about 1 Corinthians chapter, chapter, chapter number 2 and from verse 13, it says we compare spiritual things to spiritual. We compare spiritual things to spiritual. So we compare the things that we are saying with the word of God. Ouch. We compare the things that we are uttering that moment with the word of God. What a higher level of living. 
What a higher level of living. Train yourself from today. And you know, it is a language embedded in your spirit. If you study Mark chapter 16 and verse 17, it should show you. Those that believe, they will cast out devils. They will speak in other tongues. So it's not something that you need really, you know, a lot of here and there to begin to enter. No, it is the language of the spirit. It is your language as a spirit man. Praise the Lord. It's so important to understand these truths. Because once you understand these truths, it becomes easy for you to live them. Train yourself to pray in tongues always. Pray in tongues in intervals of one hour. Take three minutes. Of two hours, take five minutes. Of three hours, take 15 minutes and pray in tongues. In your office, pray in tongues. In your car, pray in tongues. In your house, pray in tongues. When you pray in tongues, you embolden your spirits. You give yourself courage. Things will come your way. Dangers will appear on your way. But you are bold, you are courageous, you know how to deal with them. When you pray in tongues, you compare spiritual to spiritual. Praise the Lord. So you begin to deal with stuff in your life even before it comes your way. Before it appears, you have dealt with it in a higher realm. Train yourself today to always pray in tongues. Glory, hallelujah. What, an, what a privilege to hear information that is life transforming. We thank God for the opportunity even to come to you and share these truths. We thank God for the opportunity even to come to you and share this information. On Sunday, we'll go a little bit deeper on the same. So don't miss out on our service from 11.15. It's going to be glorious. Praise the Lord. I want to pray for you. I cannot close this broadcast without giving you an opportunity to give your life to Jesus. Praise the Lord. If you're there, and you want to give your life to Jesus, I want you to pray this prayer after me. Say, Lord Jesus, I thank you for coming for me. I believe that you died on the cross. I believed that God raised you from the dead. And I thank you. With my mouth, I confess you, Lord, and Savior of my life. I receive eternal life. I have found today that I am born again. I am the righteousness of God in Christ Jesus. Thank you for your salvation. In Jesus' name. Amen. Congratulations if you have prayed that prayer. Jesus has come into your life. You are born again. You are the righteousness of God. I declare right now that the name of the Lord is named upon you in the name of Jesus. Go enjoy your salvation in Christ Jesus. Praise the Lord. I want to also pray for them that are listening to us and maybe in your body there is pain, there's a problem over your body, there's a problem at work. Whatever it is that you're going through right now, I want to just speak a word of healing upon you. Even them that are said to be COVID positive, wherever you are, the Lord is the healer. Praise the Lord. The Lord is a healer. The Lord is the healer. He gave his life. He gave his life. He came so that he can take away the pain. So you don't have to live in pain anymore. You don't have to live in pain anymore. I want to pray for you right now. Father, in the name of Jesus, I thank you. I speak healing upon the body of anybody that is hearing, everyone that is hearing me. And they have pain in their bodies. Them that are in, are in hospital, sick. Them that are COVID-19 positive. I command that pain to go. I declare repair of their lungs in the name of Jesus. 
They are made whole right now in the name of Jesus. Everybody is whole. Whatever you could not do, begin to do right now. Healing has come upon you right now. You are well. You are well in the name of Jesus. Thou devil of darkness, I command you to lose them. Let them go in Jesus' name. You are whole in Jesus' name. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. What a wonderful, wonderful opportunity to just come to your living room and just share the gospel with you. We want to give our offering. And the details are on the screen. Our account details are on the screen. So you can quickly, you can quickly get into your phone and take that number and send in your offering. Send in your offering even as we pray. Praise the Lord. Even as we pray. Giving you an opportunity to just give. Giving is a blessing. Giving is, is an opportunity to participate in the character of God. The Bible says, for God so loved the world that he gave. So when we give, we are demonstrating the character of God. Praise the Lord. And so it's good to give. Praise the Lord. Let's pray. Father, I thank you. I thank you for my hearers. Thank you for the offerings. Thank you for the tithes. Thank you for the partnerships. Thank you, Lord, for the love offering. Whatever it is that is being given right now, I declare by the authority of the name of Jesus, in the authority of the name of Jesus, that is opening doors of blessing for their lives. I declare right now that you are receiving a hundredfold of what you have released to the glory of God in Jesus' name. Amen, 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 amen. Thank you so much. It was a joy just to fellowship with you. It was a joy to have you in our broadcast today. The Lord bless you. We'll see you on Sunday. Thank you.